At this very moment, we would be in the fourth quarter against Team England. And you are. And we are stuck in New York City still. Indeed, last night at exactly 7.30 p.m., the Aeroquois lacrosse team was supposed to open the World Championships in England. But due to a passport dispute, the team was stuck in New York. The Uruguay team represent the six Indian nations that comprise the Uruguay Confederacy. They consider themselves as independent nations, issue their own passports like this one, and were planning to use them to go to the UK. But the British government refused to allow them in the country, asking for established documentation. They've been, they've known they've been hosting this tournament for four years. There's no surprises that we were coming in with our passports and who we were, we're our own country. It's a real disappointment for these Native Americans who helped invent the sport as much as a thousand years ago. So U.S. elected officials got involved and lobbied on the team's behalf, which finally got Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to authorize a one-time waiver that allowed the team to travel without U.S. passports. But once again, the British government refused. That was shocking. It was really, it was like, felt like a betrayal because we had jumped through the various hoops that they had given us. Another solution that was offered by the State Department was to expedite U.S. passports to the team. But this was an unacceptable option for the Uruguays. We're not ask, telling you to lay down your nationality or your, your identity. Why do that to us? The team is still scheduled to play Saturday against Japan. One loss is not that dramatic to us, so we're very, very hopeful and very focused to play stuff.